In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to animate a signature on the screen. This comes as a request from one of my subscribers. In order to do that, I first have a clip in my media room, and when I play the clip, you see it's a simple pan shot across the table containing books and a pair of glasses. Let's assume for some reason we want a signature to appear on the screen. You can do that for a still image or a video like this one. How do you do that? Well, we're going to use a plugin. Now I can either click on the puzzle piece in the upper left corner or the plugin menu at the very top. Either one will get me to the same menu. I'm going to choose Paint Designer. Now on my Paint Designer screen, I'm going to choose the Pen option, and then I have a width for my drawing and a color that I can choose. It starts out with 20. I think I'm going to reduce it a little bit, maybe to 18. I'm going to choose Blue for contrast. And then in the lower left panel, there are two very important values. Output Duration. The first one says Playback. This is your actual animation time. So no matter how long it takes me to draw the name on the screen, whether it's 2 seconds or 12 seconds, it will reanimate in 5. And I can change that number. And then the second one is Freeze. That's how long it will remain on the screen. I'm going to type in the number 5 seconds for that, and you see the orange line on the right side. So it tells me I have a total object that's 10 seconds long, 5 seconds to draw, 5 seconds to freeze. I'm going to use my mouse and we're going to do a name. Let's say we want to do Ray Watson. Again, the real time it takes for me to draw this is independent of the time the animation is. So I can be slow and careful or fast and quick. So let's do Ray. And we'll do Watson. And this will be the name we'll use. Then I click on OK. And it will ask for a name. I'll put RW for the initials and click on OK. So it takes that and puts that in my PIP objects room under custom because it's a custom PIP object. What I want to do now is take and drag that down to track number two on my timeline. Now I'll go back to my media room and put my clip on track number one. And when I play this, we have the name appearing on the screen. And it works like I wanted it to. Now the name's too big. I don't want it to hog the screen, as it were. So what I'm going to do is change a couple features about it. I'll click on my PIP object and then I will move my playhead so where I see the actual letters. Now I'm going to shrink it. I'll make it smaller. Now there's another thing I like about making it smaller. It seems to make the, the rough edges in the pixels where you draw it with your mouse a little smoother. So I'll make it smaller yet. We'll put it down here. And now when I play it, we'll go back to the beginning. We still have the five seconds animation and the five seconds of it on the screen. And there's our name. Now again, we can go back to the PIP object and double click on it. And we can change these timing values in the lower left corner. Let's say we want it to draw in three seconds and hold for six. You don't have to keep to the current 10. It will recalculate it. I can click on OK. And so for the copy of the object in the timeline now, it's different. So we'll go back near the, to the beginning. We'll play it again. And you'll see it, it writes faster and it stays around longer. Let me show you another way to do this. If, I'm going to go back to the Paint Designer. Let's use a black object here for my drawing. I'm going to stay 5 and we'll do 5 again. I'm going to use my tablet. I happen to have a tablet attached here. I'm going to draw it on the top of the image. It doesn't matter. I can make the background black. And 
and that would be an example of a similar technique simply using a different input device. I'll click on OK again. I'll save this as RW2 and press Enter. We'll go back to my PIP room. I'll take this and drag this down and we'll play it. And we're also going to shrink this one down. And let's see what the second example looks like here. There's Ray Watson with a tablet drawing the signature on the screen. So you can use the mouse or the tablet for input uh, depending on what you have available in your system. Mm -hmm.